Good morning, 4.49 a.m. I am pulling into the office right now. It's a, gonna be a crazy day today. Starting right now, we have to empty the entire warehouse. All the pallets have to come out into the parking lot. And in about an hour, the crew will be here with all of our new racking, which is gonna allow us to go vertical in the warehouse. If you saw my last vlog, we need to go vertical to create more space. We're out of floor space. Keith, our new head of warehousing and fulfillment, has helped lay it all out. Now we're installing today. We have a lot of work to do. By 10 a.m., we're gonna have a new racking system installed. This is a big day for me and a big moment for me. I'm glad you guys get to see because for me, it's always been kind of a goal is to be forced to rack this warehouse, be forced to install racking because that would mean that we have filled up the current space to the point where we need it. Backup cam, told you guys, crucial. Ali, Will, and Zaid are on their way, I hope. <laughs> now I'll be doing this by myself. We have about 60 pallets, 65 pallets to move outside into the parking lot. It's gonna take an hour. The guys are gonna come, install this racking, get the rest of the day started. Check this out, I love this. Never had a Christmas tree before at HPN, now we do. I guess you could say, we're coming up. Well, it's go time. Will and I are the first ones here, so we're gonna get it going. All this shit has to go. One row down, six more to go. Sun rising, the guys are here with the racking. We're almost done. No, we don't. We told them last night too. Well, we, we have our walk behind, but it can't go outside. But we told them we'll help unload and that's all we can do. He's not too happy about this. We don't have a regular forklift, so we have to manually unload all of the beams. This guy here that we just got is only meant for inside the warehouse. It can go up all the way to the third tier of the racking, but it's only meant for super flat surfaces, so we can't take it outside. We'll see how this goes. The moon. Jupiter. I see them both. We have to get all this in here. Stay tuned. We're rocking and rolling. Six forty-eight. What time you guys think they'll be done? Eleven. Eleven. Allie, your guess. Eleven. Well, that's boring. I'm gonna say eleven thirty. Everything's off the truck. Time to start installing. In the meantime, I'm actually gonna go change and keep it moving, get my workout in here at the office so I can kind of be here when they're doing stuff too. I actually gotta print out the floor plan real quick as well so that, that we have that handy to make sure that everything's getting installed correctly. This is the way we're gonna lay it out. Up top is the back wall of the warehouse. The middle is obviously the middle. And then we have the front side. So there's gonna be rack, three different rows of racks. This is actually a double row. Again, in total, this is gonna let us double the capacity of our warehouse. Get my coffee together. What's in your coffee, Bill Belichick? Is that black? Yeah. I'm gonna stir this up, drink it, time to work out. I'm going back to the house quickly to change. I'm gonna say what's up to my house guests. You guys will see them in a minute. Of course, you know Nick Dompierre staying with me right now, until tonight actually. I also have two new house guests with me. What's up, bro? <laughs> not all of us are getting an early start today, but Vinny is not famous for his early starts. He's famous for his fantastic finishes. Just as important as the workout itself is what you wear while you do the workout. Here's my outfit for the day. I'm gonna be wearing my HPN tank top and my new Alpha Academy joggers. These are super comfortable. You know I'm all about the hamstring game, and if you have any kind of decent hamstring development, these bad boys will be making you look fantastic. Good to go. Check out that butt. Here, try this. Morning drink. <laughs> refreshing. That's ritual, coffee, MCT, and a little bit of almond milk. My muscles are growing already. You look jacked. Yeah. Fuck. That's a too low. Whoa. Wow. It's going down, just like we told you. I'm thinking we go up uh, 40 inches. So we can have 36 inches for a pallet and some extra space. Yeah, 40 inches. Okay. Yeah. Today's workout is squats and upper body push. Special guest, Vinny Rehab. Little fit girl, warming up. Let's get it in. Rotational lunch. Yeah, I got here. Yeah. 
All of what you're seeing right now is warm up and preparation for the squat. This is to set us up to have a great squat session. <laughs> All right, so we have five total sets of squats. It's all fully planned out if you're following along with my build workouts. Five sets, today we're working up to 70% of our one rep max, which for me, at 405, 70% is 285 pounds. I'll be doing three sets of eight reps at 285 pounds. I'm gonna calculate Vinny's weights as well, get straight into it. We separate squats from deadlifts in this month's programming because we wanna make sure we can focus on the deadlift but at the same time, we don't want our squat to go down. We want to maintain it and make sure it stays strong. So we put it separate. That way, the lower back's not overly taxed by a full deadlift session followed by squatting because we are deadlifting twice in the week. Once for power, once for speed. Are you vlogging, bro? Nobody. Vlogging, Sean, vlogging. This is sick. <laughs> this is sick, bro. And you're going to help edit this. This is <laughs> sick. This is disgusting. Warm up set's done. We're all warmed the f up. Benny's gonna be working with 155 for three sets of eight reps. I'm gonna be working with 285 for three sets of eight reps. We'll see how it goes. Quick pause, we're gonna go see how the racking's coming along. About an hour, hour and a half, we should be done. About another hour. About another hour. We'll just potty a little bit, and the racks will be done. All right, last set of squats. I'm bumping up the weight slightly. Today's workout calls for 285. I'm gonna go 290 on my last set because I got the first two relatively easily. I wanna push myself a little bit. Here we go. Your sleeve makes you look two times more Jack. So now we're moving into the meat and potatoes of the pressing workout for the upper body. That is the shoulder press for this month. The dumbbell seated shoulder press. This is a movement that you can go very heavy on because you don't have to worry about stabilizing quite as much as you would when you were standing, but you still definitely have to engage the core. It's a construction zone in here today. Not only are we building muscle, we're also building racks and businesses and our brains. <laughs> Alright, so all the heavy movements are done. We're finishing up now with a banded shoulder press. You put a band on a low attachment and you perform presses with the band going behind your arm. This is a burner, not a heavy movement in terms of like maximum overload, but the contraction is very intense because with a band, it gets harder as you push higher. It doesn't get any easier. The resistance increases as the band stretches. So really good movement for finishing shoulders off with. This is Shane's first time seeing the new warehouse. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, look. What is this? <laughs> oh, wow. You can fit so much stuff in here. Yeah, we definitely can. It's a whole new world. What do you think of the new warehouse? Man, it is. It looks like a real new warehouse. Jungle. What do you think, Scotty? Oh, oh, All right, get off there. <laughs> Not a jungle gym? You didn't sign the waiver for playing on the racks. No. We haven't made one yet. I'll, I'll sign it, I will. <laughs> one more tricep exercise and this workout is done. End of the workout. Let's just go check and see how it's coming along in the back. I know all the racking is in. Now we're putting everything back in its place and organizing. Let's see how it's going before I go do cardio. What's up Teddy? You're on the vlog, homie. Good work. All right, I'm back at the house, finished my cardio. I do have to pack 
shower and get ready because I'm going to Vegas tonight. I'm flying there at 6.45 out of Long Beach to meet up with Mark Lobliner, my partner in Ambrosia, and my best friend to attend an anti-aging conference as well as do some other really cool shit tomorrow before I go to Atlanta from Vegas. I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys what's going on right now from what you've seen already this morning. This is real time, our camera at the warehouse. I just want you to see what's happening. And this might not be a big deal to you if you don't know what it represents. So I just want to tell you super briefly before this camera dies and then I gotta go get ready anyway. But this represents to me HPN taking another step forward in our continuum of coming to age. We've earned this step. We've had three different locations over the years. We've outgrown each of them successively, but we've done it all the right way. We've built this business based on doing the right thing, making amazing products and taking care of you all. Making stuff that we want to use that we're proud to give to you and educate you about, but then also trying to do everything possible to help you reach your goals in every way, shape, and form. If it's the new nutrition calculator we put out, the build and burn workouts, the exercise library, articles, information, being there to answer questions, even this here. I just want to do anything I can to help you reach your goals, and that's helped us grow our business. And this is another big step forward in that we had to double the size of our warehouse because we were out of space and we didn't want to move. And so this is going to let us hold more inventory, stay in better stock, and take better care of you guys ultimately. So I want you guys to pay attention and notice that what comes into HPN, my first priority is not buying Lambos, it's not buying Ferraris, it's not taking private jets, it's not living in extravagant lifestyle, it's putting the money back into the company. So we just wanted to have a very brief meeting to go over um, a couple things. First is a reminder about next week. Um, does anyone have any questions about the Christmas party? Obviously everyone's been seeing what's going on with the warehouse. I'm pretty excited about it for multiple reasons, but um, I think it's just a big step forward for us as a company, you know, like it's showing like we're continuing to grow and we're like committed to doing everything the right way. Every person here is a part of it. It's a crucial part of it. And I think that we can all like appreciate stuff like this to show that like what we're all working towards is this happening. So as you've heard me mention in previous vlogs and in the meeting we just had today, part of the reason why we have to get better with inventory is because our sales are growing so quickly on some certain products that we go out of stock and this is no good because if you guys are counting on having a product available to use to help you meet your goals for health, performance, or what have you, we need to always have it in stock for you. And this is an example of what can happen when our inventory is not managed correctly. These are all back orders on our Amazon. I'm gonna stay far enough away that you, you can't really see people's names, but these are all of our back orders and we have about 100 right now. Just for the past day, um, only on our Amazon, we have hundreds more on our own website. So we hate being delayed even a day or two. We like shipping orders the same day we get them as much as possible. So you get it like within two days after you order from us because we ship most everything priority uh, within the US and first class international, hopefully get it to you as quick as possible. If you ever have any questions about HP, and supplements or ordering, feel free to ask me here below. Email me. My email address is down in the signature of the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm here to answer them. That's, I want to make myself publicly available because I believe in every single thing that we do. I got to go to the dentist right now. Let's do this. Quick update. The bar has been removed. Going to put a new one in and then new bands. Going with the same color. <laughs> Behind the scenes of Nick Dompierre's life. Dominate. Dominator, look at this. New customer service. Can, oh, it's just Vince. We got Vince here. We got John. How's it going, John? You're on the vlog. I'm on the vlog? Yeah. Am I, do I look good? You look great, John. You always look great. What about Zoe? Are you show Zoe? Oh, yeah, where is she? Hey. It's a Zoe. <gasps> Scared or happy? I don't know. Can't tell. Yo, this is Pepe. Pepe, what do you do? Copywriter here. Oh yeah, he is. He, he picks great words. So new graphic designer. Say hello to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we have to pull this. One. So pull that, and I'm gonna hold this. Pull. Okay. Now we can line it up. There you go. Now, do you know what like the increase in efficiency was? Like fifty percent. We doubled. Wow. We went from sixty-three pallets to one hundred and twenty capacity. That's pretty intense. Yeah. With this much floor space too. Yeah. Like we can There's more floor space. Yeah, there's more yeah, more floor space. Yeah, there's more room and we doubled capacity. And it just feels nice. And we've got a forklift. We did everything we could. It's time to head to the airport. Nikki Don's going back to Boston. You know that song? I think I'll go to Boston. This is to celebrate Nick leaving. Do you even care, Nick? Do you, motherfucker? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Oh, we love this guy. Sad to see him go. Pack up, time to go to the airport. Tavi, when's your finals? I already passed them. All of them? So next week's a full week for you? Nice. Tavi's actually gonna work next week. Oh, what the fuck? Wow. I like when he's here. It's gonna be incredible. See you later. Oh my god. Scotty, I'll see you next week. Pepe, I'm out. I'll see you on Monday. All right, so we're a little late. What you're hearing is my alarm that says we should be driving to the airport right now. Cannot travel without it. Will not travel without it. Ritual packets. These are available on the Ambrosia website only, unfortunately, currently. Uh, we might be able to make enough to get them out to other retailers eventually, but right now, only on the website, you can order these bad boys. I have to take it with me because I can't not have my morning drink. You guys know how big of a part of my routine it is, so have to take it with me. No one knows it's here. I have to move it after this vlog. All right, now we're out for real. That's all you got. Take that with you. I have about eight minutes to pull this together, and I needed really 30, so we'll see what happens. Try and make this flight. Nick's ready. This is gonna be the end of the vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Today was a really big day at HPN. The warehouse is sick. I love it. It's incredible. What do you think about the new warehouse? It's unbelievable. It's a game changer. Nick. It's just getting better and better, man. It's a perfect place for a potty. Good night.